Now once you understand how you can toggle this form using this update button, let me show you how you can open the add form when you click on this add employee and when you click on this update button, I want to open the update form. So as you know, inside this table, you use this on update handler and call the dispatch function and inside this dispatch function, I'm using here toggle change action. This action is going to change the value of the store and then I'm going to get my form. If you back to the form.js, here I use a flag to open the add or update form. I'm going to create a new action and store the user ID inside the store. So when the user open the form using this button, using this update button, only then I want to open the update form. Otherwise, I'm going to open this add employee form. So I'm going to back to the Redux store. So let me click on this Redux, open the reducer and just out of this toggle action right here, I'm going to create a new action and name this action update action. And then I'm going to specify function here with state and action parameter and just out of that here I'm going to say state dot client dot form id now as you know I don't have this form id to this initial state so let me specify that so just out of this false here I'm going to specify form id and then I'm going to specify value to it which is undefined the initial value of this form id is undefined I'm going to update the value of this form id when I call this update action so I'm going to specify here equal to sign and then specify here action dot payload. Now inside this action dot payload, we pass a value to this form ID. So when we call this update action, we need to pass value to this payload. So let me just copy this update action and then specify that right here. So we can access this update action inside the component. So let me just save these changes back to the form at the top. I'm going to say import use selector from react redux and then I'm going to say here constant form id is equal to use selector and I'm going to call here a callback function with the value state and from this state I'm going to get the current value of the user so I'm going to say here state dot app dot client so I'm going to access these properties this one inside this form app dot client and then we specify dot form id now once we specify that to this form id i can simply specify this form id right here so if we have value inside this form id i'm going to just print the update form otherwise print the add employee form so let me first specify the update form and then i'm going to specify the add employee form let me get rid of this flag right from here so i'm going to back to the table and here when I click on this on update button, I'm going to call an action. So here I'm going to say if visible. So if the form is visible, then I'm going to execute this if block. And here I'm going to say dispatch. And inside this dispatch, I'm going to call update action. So at the top of this table here, I'm going to call update action and scroll down and then specify that right here. And as you know, you need to pass value to this update action. So instead of just passing any string, I can pass here this ID. So let me copy this and specify that ID here. As you all know, I don't have this ID inside my MongoDB database. Instead, you get the ID something like this from the MongoDB. So let me rename this ID like this. Back to the project, reload it. When I click on this add employee, I'm going to have this add employee form. But when I click on this update button, you can see I'm going to get my update form. Now what I want when I click on this update button, I want to fill these text boxes with the record. So let's suppose I click on this first update button. I wanted to fill all these values in these text boxes. But before I show you how you can update your record, let me first grab this statement right from here and then specify that inside this update user form. You can see I already have the same function in both these files. So instead of having this function right here, I can specify that inside this form.js file right up here and then specify the same function to both these components so I'm going to copy this function or you can cut this function right from here and then specify that inside this form and just out of that I'm going to grab this statement from this add user form and then specify that inside this form right here and now you have to just pass both these values to this add form here I'm going to call a function add user form and inside this parenthesis I'm going to pass an object 
and pass form data and set form data and you can just specify the same thing inside your add user form right here inside this parenthesis so we are just going to get these values from the parent component and now i'm going to do the same thing for this update component as well so let me get rid of this and then i'm going to specify here update user form and inside an object i'm going to specify form id this variable then specify form data and set form data now because i want to get the value of the input text boxes i specify both these variables to this update user form now just out of that you need to import this use reducer from react so you have to say here import use reducer from react just out of that back to the update user get rid of this function and as you know from the form you can get all these three properties so let me copy this specify that in the update user form right here inside this parenthesis get rid of this statement and now you can get all the values of your input text boxes using this form data variable and you can set a new value to this form data using this set form data function